This is CBS News Bay Area with Juliet Goodrich. Hello, I'm Sarah Donchi, and today for Juliet, Pedro Perez came to the Bay Area to try and make a better life for his family. He probably never imagined an act of mass violence would touch him or them. He is the sole survivor of the shooting in Half Moon Bay, and now he's talking about why he's suing his workplace over the tragedy. Pedro watched his brother Jose die, and he himself was shot five times. Now he and his family are suing California Terra Garden, one of two mushroom farms where an employee allegedly killed seven farm workers in January of last year over a workplace dispute. Dalin was there as Perez shared his painful story and explained why he's asking for accountability. The attorneys say the owner of the mushroom farm failed to keep the tenants safe. A worker who survived five gunshot wounds says he is still hurting physically and emotionally. Shooting survivor Pedro Perez underwent three surgeries and is still in a lot of pain. I had two bullets in my stomach. One in my face, one in my arm, and a bullet in my back. Speaking through a translator, the 24-year-old says life will never be the same and he may never recover from the mental trauma. He witnessed a gunman kill his older brother, 38-year-old Jose Perez. What hurts me so much. Is that we were always together. I live with him. We were always together. Siempre cocinamos así juntos, íbamos a la tienda así. We would cook together, we would go to the store, we were inseparable. The two brothers left Oaxaca, Mexico to work and live at the Half Moon Bay Mushroom Farm. They would send money home. Jose is survived by his wife and four kids. Aside from Pedro, Jose's wife is also suing California Terra Garden and the owner, Xiao Meng Guang. Police say this worker killed four people and injured Pedro at California Terra Garden. They say he then went to another farm and killed three more people on January 23, 2023. He, we can't believe it because we didn't have any problems and he was our co-worker and we always worked side by side with him. This case is about holding a landlord accountable for failing to protect the tenants on its property. Pedro's attorney Duffy McGilligan says the owner did nothing to prevent the mass shooting, even though he knew about the alleged shooter's violent history. The attorney says there was also a separate shooting at the farm months before. What did California Terror Gardens Farm do after that shooting in July of 2022? What steps did they take to make sure that it didn't happen again? And I can tell you what the answer is gonna be right now. The answer is they did nothing. ALAS, an organization that advocates for farm workers, says they also want to push for better living conditions. They say many migrants across the country continue to live in shipping containers and in deplorable conditions. No running water, no kitchens, and no bathrooms. They use porta potties. Were we fighting for this years and years and years ago? How are we still in these conditions in 2024? As for Pedro, the road to recovery is a long one. He says his therapy now includes learning how to play the accordion. The question was, how is the accordion helping him to heal? And he says that it's helping a lot when he feels sad. He starts to practice and uh, coming to the accordion program, playing with the group. Pedro says he has not been able to work. Half Moon Bay and San Mateo County are helping him with his rent. He says eventually he'll go back to his family in Mexico. Now, the civil lawsuit doesn't specify how much money they're seeking. The attorneys say that'll be figured out later. We reached out to the farm owners but have not heard back. Now, the suspect in the shootings, Chun Li Zhao, has pleaded not guilty to seven counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. Investigators say he opened fire after getting into a dispute with his supervisor over a $100 forklift repair bill. Zhao is expected back in court on April 19th. Since that shooting, there has been a major push to create more housing for farm workers in Half Moon Bay. And there has been some progress. San Mateo County got $3 million from the federal government last month to fund up to 20 units of housing. And back in January, we showed you this 50-acre nursery that San Mateo County bought for $9 million. It will be turned into 100 units of farm worker housing. The county has also launched a task force to work with farmers and ranchers 
to improve the housing that they already have.